So I bend over, he braces the knee, spreads his base, and the most important spread there was that front leg. He gave himself enough room to step up with his back foot, we call it a release step, boom. But if his front leg, go back, if his front leg here was too close, his release step's weak, and he'll never get over here where he needs to be for power. And I say power, it's not power, it's, it's momentum, it's energy, right? So he spreads his base, nice and wide, beautiful, he steps up, boom. Now, as he steps in, his goal is to sit as far over here as possible. So, he steps and goes, boom, boom. And I just hang on to his neck and go for the right. Boom. When you land, hands out for base. Great, he's in a modified mount. I could be turned here. You can throw in the hooks. I might let go of his head. Turn to my knees. So, takes the back, right? And all these little things are a particular class you're gonna have. So, right, so Rob's a, your first one tonight. This is just some things we're gonna layer in later for you, right, as we move around. So if you've had a class or done something that fits a position, go ahead and throw it in. Anytime you can do an extra choke, right? Say, hey, I've done the rear naked choke. We take him down. Can you turn over? <laughs> Thank you. But you get to practice the choke then once, right? And then we'll talk about when they don't let go and the resistance. And that's what tonight's whole class is about. Is being down, being mounted and somebody grabbing the headlock on him. And how we're going to make him let go. So, stepping, sitting, a lot of things going on past there, right? From here, I blow, he grabs the head, he pulls down. So immediately I brace the knee, find his hip, spread my base. Step up, and now, this is probably the biggest mistake I see when I watch this move happen, is everybody tries to step and stand. In other words, for me to put this foot in there comfortably, I need to do this. Do you see how I just took Cameron's posture up? It's not gonna be harder to throw him, right? The ease of his fall is because he's low. If anything, I wanna start squatting as I step in, so that I'm already sitting. Getting lower rather than taller. Hands wide for base. Notice I didn't land with my leg over all pretty like Cameron did. It's all good. I'm just gonna take my time, find my position. I'm not in a hurry to mount. If he's struggling to get out, I'm just gonna be chilling here. I don't wanna get thrown on my back with him on top. And I also don't wanna be carrying him. It's straining my neck. So I put my chest down on his ribs, be nice and low. So if you land here, great. If you land with your leg already over, great. Wide base, don't fall. Any questions? Cool. Let's try it. We'll swing around. We'll watch you guys. New ones. Anybody, who hasn't done this yet? Who hasn't been in on this class? 